this recording? Yeah, it is. Hi, guys. Thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. We're going to take a look at Aries. Hi, Aries. I hope you guys are doing okay out there. I did meditate over these cards. We're going to go ahead and take a look and see what's going on with your individual energy. We're going to go ahead and get right into it. You guys are being advised that you need to practice some sort of patience because it looks like you are in the middle of some difficult situation. Whatever you guys are in the middle of, I feel like it's a waiting game for you because you have this card here, temperance. When we look at the tarot, you're going to stand, understand that temperance is time, right? So that's what it was back in the olden days. If we want to take a look at the history of tarot, the temperance card used to be time. You guys are being advised that there's nothing happening right now, or at least you feel that way. You're being advised to be patient, but also look into... What are you doing at this time? How can I be productive during a time when I feel like nothing is happening that I can see with the visible eye? So that's really what it's about here. For some of you, you want to make some matter better. You want it to speed along faster, but you cannot. But for some of you, you're being able to blend things together. You're seeing the opportunity to blend things, right? Old skills, new skills, within reason, of course. Constructive criticism of oneself. Now, for some of you, and this might get into career a little bit, I don't know what this is. I feel like this is a little off, right? So this is not going to be for everybody with this temperance card. If you guys have um, some job or something like that or something that you're into, it could be raw materials. It could be something having to do with resources, but also personnel. So you guys could be in some sort of business company. There's something with ideas here that you might be waiting for, All right? So we see that energy coming up. Some of you, you could be dealing with a cancer. When I take a look at this, I see that maybe some of you guys have been very patient when it comes to some cancer energy, or maybe you're operating in this energy. You guys weren't told the truth about a situation with the Ace of Swords reverse. There's going to be some delays with something glitches. I want you guys to look for glitches that is going to, I guess is going to happen for you. I don't know when these glitches, I don't know if they have, this story might be coming up or it may have passed already. There's something with delays and glitches. And because of these delays and glitches, you guys are not able to manifest exactly what it is you want as quickly as you want, but it does come eventually at some point. There's something here with loss. There's something here where you guys are afraid that failure is actually going to loom when it comes to some situation or failure is looming. For some of you, this displays your plans. For some of you, this ends your plans. For some of you, you're being advised to get another plan, make some changes to the plan and you should be able to get things moving forward. But I feel like somebody didn't tell you the truth in something. You guys were dealing with the cancer energy. They didn't tell you the truth about a situation. They lied to you. You have the Ace of Swords that comes up reverse. It could be a cancer, but we can also look at it this way, right? There's somebody who's been dishonest with you. They didn't tell the truth. It could be a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. For some of you, this could uh, be a cancer. And I feel like the lie could have been told by a cancer or a Scorpio, or the lie could have been told about a Scorpio, whatever this is about. So somebody lied to you. They didn't tell you the truth. We see that there's something with you needing to devise a plan, right? A plan while you're in something that's not moving at the moment. Some of you guys feel like you're losing something. Like, I'm not going to win this, da, 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 but you can't give up just because you feel like nothing's moving. For some of you, things are moving. You just don't know it. I don't know. I feel like some of us might be stretched very thin. So it might be very hard for you guys to see this, that things are moving. You just have to connect them, right? They may not be visible. So you guys really want to go and delve into your very intuitive nature. You're going to see that things are changing around you. You're going to see that. Hmm. There's also something here with the five of swords. All right. So there's some change that has to be made, right? And we know this because we know that you feel like nothing's happening. We know somebody lied, they stalled you. You have the five of swords that comes up. Now with this, I feel like somebody may have been bullying you guys into doing something. It could have been this cancer energy. It was a bully to you. Something with somebody bullying you. I don't know if they were making fun of you. There's something about violence. Some of you could have been in an abusive relationship with a cancer or a Scorpio or somebody's there's something, something here. Somebody had an abusive relationship. I will tell you that. There's a lot of fighting and betrayal going on here. Somebody could have betrayed, betrayed a Scorpio. It could be you, or maybe you guys feel like a Scorpio betrayed you, whatever this is. But the Five of Swords, let's go ahead and take a look at it. A change brought on by distress, misfortune, betrayal, loss. And now Aries, it says that you are adjusting to change. That was brought on by distress. It also says here that you could be changing your philosophy, your beliefs, for some of you guys, you are trying to resolve a problem. 
you're trying to win a battle that doesn't have an answer. Like you cannot, you can't resolve this issue because there is no answer to it. Whatever that means to you. You guys are being advised whenever it comes to this fight with this Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, or with this Cancer here, or with this Scorpio here, whatever this is about. I also see Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here. Whatever this is about, you guys are trying to resolve something that cannot be resolved. For some of you, you continue to fight because you're saving face. Even though you know there's no answer, you know you're not going to win, but you continue to fight to save face whatever that's about for you. So you guys would be an advisor. You want to come up with some sort of a strategy to exit a situation. Also, there's something else here with you guys too. When we get into the next piece of it, there's something about debt and poverty that comes up. So you guys might be facing some sort of debt, some sort of poverty, and it's something that you don't want to face. So I would go ahead and address whatever things need to be addressed. But I still feel like you guys are waiting for something, but I feel like this addressing debt and things or whatever this is about, I feel like this is what needs to be worked on as you wait with the temperance card. That's what it kind of feels like. There's some sort of postponement that shows up here with this four of wands. I feel like four of wands. I feel like there was some sort of a celebration or something like that. Something where you guys were supposed to celebrate a situation because it's about a homecoming. It's a celebration. It's about friends, reunion, hanging out with these people, having a great time. But the four of wands actually comes out reverse here. So there's some postponement. Some of you guys may have been given some invite, right? And it's postponed or something like that. Or you could be involved with a group of people celebrating, look, trying to bring something together, trying to bring this full circle. But if you take a look at this celebration, right? They don't quite touch just yet. It seems like the four corners <laughs> of the earth. Once those four corners start touching each other, something significant happens, right? For some of you, you are here because you know that the Most High is coming back. And once his word reaches the four corners of the earth, that's when he's coming back. That's when the truth comes out that you've been trying to hide. That's for some of you. Hmm. Sometimes you just got to remind is what it's about. The four of wands comes out reverse here. Postponement. For some of you guys, you are celebrating your fortune in a quiet way. Right, so you might be, you might have got a couple of dollars, you might be on the verge of completed something, have completed something, and you're proud. You tell yourself, I did a great job. Pat on the back, I did a great job. Some of you celebrate loudly, some of you celebrate quietly. I feel like you guys are celebrating quietly. I don't know why. So I feel like whatever it is you felt like you couldn't win, you actually, there's some movement with it here with the four of wands. Let's take a look at the other piece of it though, right? So the four of wands is gonna tell us that you knew that it was time to exit some situation, right? Because there was some conflict, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Some of you guys did not celebrate the way you wanted to. For some of you, you had this partner that didn't support you, whatever that was about. This person would not celebrate you. They were not concerned about your accomplishments. They straight up didn't care. For some of you guys, this simply means that you deaded this situation, right? But for some of you guys, this four of wands reversed here. I'm going to get into that piece too. Although something is postponed for some of you, although rewards seem elusive as you feel like you lose out to other contenders, some of you are still celebrating in a very quiet way. Some of you have gotten new property, expanded your property holdings. You created work. Maybe you wrote a song or you put out some poetry without fanfare. You did it for you and you love it. Other people will draw to it. Don't worry about that. But there's something about property holdings or there's something about a creative project that you guys are working on. It also says that whoever you are, your public image is favorable at this time with the four of wands reversed here. We have the death card. So I feel like you guys are ending something. Could be a Scorpio, end of a cycle. A stage of your life is ending, right? The stage where you're in conflict, fighting with the Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, or where you're fighting with the Cancer or the Scorpio here, or whoever you're fighting with, that conflict is going to be over. The truth comes out about a situation with the Five of Swords, or you address somebody because they lied to you, didn't tell you the truth about a situation. Some of you guys are separated from a Scorpio. Some of you guys have a significant Scorpio in your life that is suffering because of some, I don't know, some lie something that you did Aries or something that there's some truth that wasn't told or somebody lied could have been a cancer that lied some of y'all separated here yep for some of you guys this stuff this uh this four of wands here where you're supposed to celebrate is postponed because you were supposed to reconnect with a Scorpio there's a significant Scorpio in your life Aries 
there's a certain stage of your life that is ending. You guys are mourning the death of a relationship with a Scorpio, maybe. Some of you guys are mourning the death of the lie being hidden. You're like, oh man, everybody sees. There's something where you guys are desperately trying to hold on to something that has been taken from you. And this is where I get this from. Some of you guys, a Scorpio has been taken from you. What does that mean? Maybe they went to live with their mommy or their daddy. Maybe DCF had to take them. Maybe you had to leave your kid with your mother who you know is only in it for the bread, but you did it to yourself. You heard? There was something that was done here. Somebody lied about something. They set you up or whatever happened here, but a, somebody was taken from you. I'll put it that way. Somebody significant was taken from you. I feel like this is painful. I feel like whatever you guys compromise, because it feels like you guys compromised something at one point in time. So whatever was been taken from you, this Scorpio, this death card, something is over. For some of you guys, this is the death of your ego. There's some big changes coming up for you, Aries, right? It's time for you guys to move on. For some of you, this is about a rebirth. But I feel like something is over. You guys are starting to understand that patterns that were once workable for you are not workable anymore. You're like, I don't, this doesn't work for me. So I feel like you guys might be releasing some things, letting some things go, whatever that's about for you. What the heck happened here? Oh, okay. You guys are letting some things go. That's what I see here. So that's what your read is. <sighs> I feel like this celebration and death card, you know that something is not going to, um, something's not going to materialize the way you want it 